Hi, I'm Gary White for Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with Tony Wiley, and we've had Tony on before talking about various different uh, projects that you're involved in. You're a very yes. creative person. Thank you. <clears throat> we've had her on here on our uh, sitcom here on TV, but also some plays that you've written locally. Yes. But now we want to talk about another project that you're doing, yes. and it is a book project, right? Yes. And the book series is called Into a Cave? The series, it's a rocking travel series. So it's about a girl and her cockatiel, and they go different places anywhere to find rocks. So their first adventure, they're going into a cave. Now, okay. we originally started out with Mammoth Cave, but we decided to make it any cave. Okay. Okay. So to so, reach a broader audience. So it's Camille and Kiki. Yes. Where would you come up with those names? Well, I just like Kiki, and the day that, this is funny, I've never met anybody named Kiki, but two years ago when I took my son and his friends to Mammoth Cave and we toured the cave, we went to eat at the Olive Garden in Bowling Green afterwards, and I already had this name picked out, and our waitress's name was Kiki. Wow. <laughs> That's so coincidental, that, 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 isn't it? It's coincidental, <laughs> yes. yes that's the only person I've ever met named Kiki. Oh, so I cool. thought, well, that's a good sign. Yeah. But that's yeah. been two years ago, and we've been working on this for a very long time. Now, you wrote the story, right? I wrote the story. But a, a fellow who went to St. Catherine College actually did yes. your uh, did artistry, the artwork, right? Yes, yes. So I ran into Cody Chester, mm -hmm. and if you're from this area or St. Catherine College, you would recognize his art. He does big angel pictures, and mm -hmm. he's just a great artist. I ran into him at our local Cracker Barrel um, last May, not this May, but the May before, mm -hmm. and asked him what he was doing, and he said he's doing youth ministry work and working on a graphic novel, and at the time he was working there. And so I asked him, how would he like to be a, an artist for a children's picture book? He's like, I don't know. So anyway, he, he drew a sample. I loved it. And this is a great picture. This one's not in the book. It's going to be in a postcard that we send out. But um, he just has a great, great style. He did the whole book kind of like a scrapbook. Uh -huh. So we have pictures of who they are. Like they're going into a cave. So I don't know if you can mm -hmm. see this or not. But then he does it like this. So it's like Camille's pictures. scrapbook with notes on the pictures and then a little school paper where he does that. So I love the idea he came up with. Now, it is a little interesting to work with an artist because he'd been doing graphic novels mm -hmm. for an older group. And so his first rendition of Camille, she was way too sexy. <laughs> <laughs> we had to change how she looked a bit, bring, bring her age more like a nine or 10 year old, which was great. But then my writing was originally for a five or six year old. Okay. So then I had to change my writing up to a language more equivalent to that age. Okay. So we've kind of met in the middle. Oh, yeah, coming together. Yes. And then he had some pictures that I loved, but he made the rangers look a little bit too stern. And we learned this because over the last year, we've gone to Mammoth Cave, we've talked to teachers and librarians, and it's a much better book now. But originally, he was maybe, he was a little scruffy and... Uh, very stern, like, don't touch that, no, no, no. And so we changed the way he talks and the way he looks, much more smiling and clean shaven. <laughs> things you don't think about. I mean, uh -huh. I never thought about any of those things with a children's book, but uh -huh. we've come a long journey and we feel like our book is really ready to bring to the public now. Well, that's great. Yeah, so, so this is a dummy book. <clears throat> Right, the sample. Right, because the actual book we're hoping you're hoping to get done in January. January, correct? yes. And we're asking for the public's help to make that possible a little bit, right? Yes, and I had never heard of this, but there's a, a group called Kickstarter, and it's kind of like Shark Tank. Only this is online, and right. you can go to Kickstarter, put your project out there, and you have to have rewards. And I meant to bring what some of my rewards look like, which some of them are going to be. A handwritten postcard. Uh, Cody is also doing a big poster. Mm -hmm. The book, of course, will be one of the rewards. And then um, with almost every level that you can come on with, you get a rock because we collect rocks. I love rocks and I go around the libraries with my rock collection. And the two in the journey, that's what they do. They collect rocks. So mm -hmm. I have a lot of really cool rocks that I got over in Danville. 
And then Cody has a farm in Willisburg, and he says he's got some pretty cool rocks there. So they're all hand-picked if anybody comes online. But you would go to kickstarter.com, mm -hmm. and you would type in Into a Cave, and our book will come up when you do that. And then you can read about the different things that we've done. And you can read through some of our progress in there. You can see some of the early artwork that how he used to look, the ranger used to look, how the ranger looks now. And for as little as $5, you can help back us. And I don't want to say that we're poor, starving artists. We're not quite, but we're not rich either. <laughs> we're not exactly. rich either. And it's just a way that people can be part of something bigger. We've got another book ready to start. I've got another artist with a book that's ready to, to, to work on. And it just takes funding to get it out the door. Right. So go to kickstarter.com and go to Into a Cave and you can get information on possibly helping them get this book published and making it possible. And then January, hopefully we'll be talking about it actually getting out there. Right. January, we are set to go. We have our patch design. Uh, we have all this ready to go. So we're ready and raring to get out the door. Fantastic. Cool. We're going to be talking with Tony Wiley about her book and go to kickstarter.com, type in Into a Cave, and you'll get all the information to help make this possible. Good right. luck. Thank you. Thank you. It's been Gary White for Central Kentucky Television.